my toilet paper rolls go vertically and all my tabs are on the top. I added a little bit of a decorative edge to some of the pages and also on the hinges. The hinges are the like the stack the deck and that's how it it's all glued. It kind of folds out and it's got a little tuck spot here and this has a tab on the top. I love what do what you love, love what you do, and it has the kind of vintage garden butterfly tag, so that just sticks in the top there. And I didn't do anything with the bottom. Those tags are pretty tight in there, uh, so things can be tucked in the bottom too. This side has just some a pocket here with some little images and tags in there. And then again, it has a, another tag on the top. And I put some paper on the back to give it a little bit of stability. There's also, behind the image on the tube, there's a space too. I didn't glue it all the way down. And I did a little, these are the tabs from the famous vintage garden. And I added a little word on there. Try to start adding some words in best I could. Uh, this says loyal and true. Another little image stuck in there. And if they want to, she wants to personalize it to herself, she can just put her own images right over the, like a photo mat too. This side now starts the little, little journal that's inside the book. And I have a little tuck spot here. Cut this out of some paper and another little image and because the papers are kind of fragile from the old book I put a tab on there for turning the page and this is uh, another printable and this has a little tuck spot on the side here a little flower and a little tag in there stamped a word on there and then all the journaling spaces where you can write and journal. They're just pretty plain. Stamped in the top of this one here. This one has a tuck spot. It says forever. This has a little tag in it. Here's one of my cutouts from the butterfly. Stuck that in there. It's just a little... <laughs> another image on that page and that's that's the I made another doily piece out of, uh, of old wallpaper and then I sewed these together and then I glued those down so that this would stay in the book and another image in here a little pocket down here a little flower this is another toilet paper it's got a tag in the top there and some words and stamping on the back. And another tab here. The nice thing about printing this stuff off of the Femmer's Vintage Garden site, everything just coordinates so well. It's just fun to put them together. Uh, there's a little tag up here, too. Sticks in behind the page pocket. And this was a, an, a little envelope then. And uh, I have another little image up here. It's just clipped on. This paper clip, uh, it, it's doing kind of a couple of jobs. The envelope has a flap which likes to pop up. So if you just kind of turn that, then the envelope opens up. And inside the envelope then is um, another couple of tags to this is a Walmart or <laughs> a Menards paint sample chip or something it was so uh, then I just put those together and then they go back slide back in there and then this just kind of turns up and holds that flap down there's a tuck spot down here and then over here is another little booklet 
I should say, at Signature. And that, that was sewn with elastic and then the doily on this side is, is glued down. So that's how that stays in. I think I added a little glue just along the seam too. So just some stamping in there and a little cupcake cupcake um, papers, little tag in there. And another little tag. Try to add some words. Here you can see the binding for the signature. And these are just different coffee dyed papers. It was left over from that journal. Composition journal I made. This says live a beautiful life. It just has some journaling space here and that's just washi taped in. Uh, this is a image. I tried to add a little bit of our community in her journal. And this is a the man who built our home. We live in a historic home in Glencoe. And um, then just kind of lifts up. And this, you can see, is now what's glued on to hold your signature in. And then it just has a little tag up in here. Oop, can't see. A little tag up in here. And then that just goes back down. This little paper clip just moves over and holds him, holds him in there. This is hard to film. <laughs> and then there's just a couple images that I liked on these two pages. And there also are some uh, tags stuck in here. Uh, this one has some words on the back. Embrace life. They just go in there like that. And there's another tag on the top. These, this one I really like. It's got, the, got the lady on there. That goes back in there. Oh, I stamped down the bottom too. It says birds of a feather. Getting a little better at stamping. This one over here has a tag in. It's got the it's got the clock on. Kind of matches and goes in here. And she can she can write her own little tab title on here. There's a little I see this sticking out here. This one likes to fall in a little bit. Sometimes the toilet paper tube roll doesn't allow the, has the ribbings on in there. I did sew all my tubes so that they would be flat, so that probably wasn't a really good idea, but I don't like it when they gap open. And here you can see my hinging has kind of decorative cut on it. And this is a pocket on this side that has a lot of the Glencoe things in it. I'm in, I live in the community of Glencoe, Minnesota. And this is our little logo. And this is a B&B &B in our town. It's called the Brochet Inn. It used to be called, uh, before it was bed and breakfast, it was always known as the Castle. And this is a label from, it's a copy of the label, from the brewery in our community back in, uh, oh, late 1800s, early 1900s. It closed during Prohibition, so uh, that's kind of cool. little touch of our community in my book. And it just has the words on the background of, I uh, can't remember her name, Tinkerbell. So that sticks in there. Um, then this is the last uh, toilet paper rule. It says heritage. It has a little tuck spot in behind there. And uh, I'm not sure how well this is filming. It's hard to... Make sure I can see the camera. This is just a little booklet that I made that tucks in there. It kind of has my um, contact information on about who made the journal. And uh, just kind of says handmade by Sue. And I put the date. And, and uh, so that just kind of slides down in there. And this is another tab. I didn't put too many pulls on my tabs. Oh, I don't know why that doesn't want to come out there. There, just looks like that. Oh yeah, I know why. On the back, I kind of wanted the tabs to stick up, so I put this ticket on here to kind of match this balloon on the back, so it's it's a little stays in there nice and tight. And there's my binding. 
and uh, so that's my journal and I'm really excited to get mine in the mail too so thank you for watching Thank you.